Good morning. So um, recently I've been uh, working, trying to get uh, Snippy Pixie um, to do its auto expanding via the ATSPI accessibility framework and it's not been working. Uh, not been able to get to the point where I'm confident that's the way to go. So today I am totally changing tact um, and I am going to go back and use um, start building snippy pic, snippet pixie um, out in a way that I actually use it because I don't tend to use the auto expander anyway. Um, so I'm going to start working on the GUI side of things for snippet pixie um, so that we have a settings GUI um, and the GUI that I use the most, which is the um, search and paste window. Um, so today I'm totally cha um, changing tact and uh, doing something different. Um, but I do need to kind of revert a bunch of the rubbish that I did with the ATSPI stuff. Um, uh, and then um, come back to it another day. Most of that I've already done on my laptop. So... Um, I need to go grab that on my desktop, which I'm using right now. Uh, totally forgot to do that this morning, so I've got to do that. So uh, let's see. Um, I need, let's think, I need to go and I think. Let's do that. So this is all stuff uh, that I, I just sort of manually copied across to my laptop when I was trying to work it out on there um, and I wasn't getting anywhere um, and I ended up creating a branch um, and just verting a bunch of stuff. Um, I had unfortunately pushed some of this chain, these changes up into the uh, repo and I can't can't revert it because of the, I've then had other commits on top, but hey ho, it's a, it's not a big deal. So here I just need to revert, I think. So I should be able to just do a rollback, in fact. And then I should be able to do a fetch. I'll just double check there's nothing. Commits. Right, there's no outstanding changes. I'm just going to move that down here. I don't like it up there. Prefer it here. It's still a bit easier for me to work with. Um, Okay, so I'm going to pull from trunk. Okay, now that means we should, in theory, we've got a couple of branches now. Oh, you probably can't see that very well. Uh, let's go over here. You could probably see it now. Um, so we're on trunk. Um, but I do also have um, an auto expander uh, branch, and that's just got all the changes um, that I've basically reverted. Um, I should actually just give you a quick demo of what I tried. Um, so you'll see, I tried all kinds of things in the end. I did actually do some Seago um, to try and get. Um, the ATSPI in it working. Um, I'll put it back over there. And you'll see that I even test, I test the output um, and it was as it should be. Uh, I was generally, I was getting a one response, which means it's already initialized. That's fine, which we knew um, when we, if you look at the previous videos, it was up and running um, in most cases, if I had, um, even if I'd stopped the classic snippet pixie, the service was running, uh, the ATSPI service for doing all the accessibility stuff. But for whatever reason, 
it wasn't doing the broadcast of the signal messages that I needed, which is the only thing I needed. Um, uh, and I also double checked with the, you know, is ATSPI is initialized um, and that was fine. And then I've you had all this other stuff where I was testing things, um, making sure I got the, the bus properly with the address. Um, and then there was some stuff I was mucking about with, with uh, setting the is enabled on a couple of properties and all this kind of other stuff. Um, and it was all kind of working until you got to the point where you wanted to do anything with the actual accessibility classes and things like that. Um, and also the broadcast of um, those messages if the classic snippet bits it wasn't um, running. And I just could not get it to do what I wanted it to do. So that branch is up there, um, sitting there, waiting for me to get some inspiration or if maybe some kind soul has a look at it and goes, ah, I know the problem um, and can give me some advice. That'd be great. Um, but for the time being, I'm going to switch back to doing, making changes to Snippet Pixie um, so that it goes on progressing. Um, in the way that I tend to use it anyway. Um, so I'm going to switch back to trunk here. Um, and then I need to go clean up on this machine because I've changed OS and stuff and I need to make sure it's all working. So let's go into here. All right. So what have we got? Okay, we've got the two things and they're going to be, yeah, they're going to not going to be happy there. Okay. Let me just get rid of this one as well. Okay. Right, what I'll do is, let's clear that. Um, I need to do a make clean all. So hopefully that's cleaned out a bunch of stuff. Let's do a quick make tidy, which is just going to check all the um, all the libraries and stuff used in the Go, and then I'll do a make and see if that works on here. Seems to. And let's do a make test, and it will pass, which is kind of miraculous. Um. Okay, so GUI stuff. Um, if you've been following me on sort of GitHub and Twitter and whatnot, you'll see that I've been uh, doing bits and bobs with the Wales project. Um, and I, I even said to, I've even become the maintainer of the Nixos um, package, Nix packages version of it. Um, so it should have Wales set up here, no problem. So let's just check um, Wales version, I think it is. Yep. So I've got version 34. Now, let me just double check. I have moved. I haven't got um, stuff here. Okay. So you can see that. Um, so I think I'm going to use that um, as the basis for um, the GUI for Snippet Pixie version 2. Um, and I think I'm going to do it as two separate apps. One as a settings app um, and then one as a um, pop-up window, find your snippet and paste it basically into an app, which is the most useful um, and most widely um, compatible way to use Snippet Pixie when you've got things like browsers that don't always work with Auto Expand, which I can't even get working at the moment. Um, so we're going to have to start doing that. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do um, for the actual GUI 
stuff other than probably well I will be using Svelte as the as the uh, interface so let's see what we're going to do um oh actually before I do that let me just double check <laughs> that I've got a working app on here because as I've changed um I've just uh no it's fine um as I've last week I had some issues with um, my Arch based OS, uh, I some packages updated and uh, they were broken and this that, and the other and I just kind of decided it was time to switch across back to uh, Nixos, uh, which I've been running for months and months now on my laptop um, and I used to used to use um, on well, on my laptop for years, actually, before that even, um, uh, until I had a few issues there. But uh, anyway, so I've I've installed Nixos on here, um, and I just need to make sure that everything is working with uh, the weirdness that is Nixos. Um, so let's make sure that that build worked. Um, we have now, in theory, a daemon here. Um, it's just been made and I should just simply be able to do this because nothing, I've just built it and all the libraries and everything should in theory be in place and at the same path. And now if I go into the CLI, um, let's uh, bump up the size on that. So we can see a bit more. So I should be able to do something like list. Uh, let's do list SP and see what it comes back with. Yeah, cool. Okay. I so need to fix up that list format. It's just raw at the moment. But anyway. Um, but yes, so it's working. That's good. Uh, now I do in theory have um, classic snippet pixie, I think, running in the background. Just check. I do. Uh, but that shouldn't interfere. I think that'll be okay at the moment. Um, when I get to the GUI stuff, I'll have to change some hotkeys, but that's that's for another day. Um, okay, well, I guess I need to start thinking about how I'm going to build this and what I'm going to use. I have in the past have looked at um, a few sort of um, component libraries and things, and I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether I'm going to do that or whether I do it from scratch. Um, I'll have to think about that, but let's get the app and running first. Let's get a very basic Wales app up and running, and then we'll worry about that. So I'll just kill off this daemon here. Um, and I will... Let's, let's see. I'll just move that up a bit, I think. I think what I'll do... think I will build it as just another command. At the moment we've got on the top level we've got the builds directory which is where the CI, uh, CDCI and stuff is. 
commands, which at the moment has the CLI and the daemon. And then we have internal, which is a couple of packages. So we've got um, the export stuff for exporting snippets and then the manager, which includes all the other bits and bobs that we need um, for the daemon. And then we've got a package, which is stuff that will potentially be public. So we've got the dbus service, which is kind of just interface definitions. Um, and then snippet, which is the kind of the basics for um, what a snippet looks like. Um, it's data structure and stuff. Um, so I've got to decide where I'm going to put this GUI stuff. Do I put it as just another command? So it's kind of like another binary. Or do we have a top level? Um, set up such as UI. I think I'll keep it in command. So um, I think what we'll do is we'll have two new commands. We're going to have hmm. yeah, snippet pick C. GUI, I think, and that will be the main settings. And well, could we we could call it snippet pixie settings, I suppose. But then the other one is the search and paste. So. That's also, that could easily be called Snippet Pixie GUI as well. Um, yeah. I definitely want to keep them separate though. I want them as two separate apps. Because for starters, um, the search and paste window, um, it would be quite easy for someone to create their own version on using Rofi or some other toolkit. Um, so that's just, it'd be nice to just keep it as a small separate example of what you can do. Um, okay, let's do yeah we'll do snippet pixie GUI as the settings and we'll start that first uh, so we can get a, like a rough idea of how things can be and kind of work out some sort of components and stuff and then Yeah, and then we'll rough out a snippet pixie search and paste or something. Quite a mouthful though as a command. But I mean you'll tend to it'll just be in a hotkey somewhere anyway. Yeah. Okay. Right, uh, so the best way to do this is probably Yeah, I'll just do it on the command line. So uh, we will be using Svelte, so it's Wales in it, because we're going to start a new project. Um, I'm going to use the Svelte template, 
we're going to um I want to use I want it to generate IDE um sort of templates for Goland. Don't know how that's gonna work when it's in a mono repo as such. Mm -hmm. That could be fun. That might cause problems. We'll see. We can always uh, revert and do another one. Um, and we're going to name it. Um, oh, we'll just call it GUI here. Right? And then we'll we'll fix up the actual project. Ah, now I I think right, let me see. I think I can actually do a couple of different things here. Uh so how do I get help on this? Can it help? Yeah. Okay. Right, so I can have a separate directory. And that separate name of the project. Uh, let's just do a quick rails in it minus see what templates it says are available. Yeah, it's felt and feet. Okay, that'll be interesting. I've not used feet before. Uh, the felt stuff I've done has been before they started using feet. So, um, that'll get me up to speed on that, I guess. Okay, let's do this then. Um, we will do. Oh, whales in it. Minus T, it's felt. Minus ID, oh, ID, E, going and. Uh, we're going to call it. Snippet, Pixie, GUI, and we're going to do it in a directory called just GUI. Let's see if this works. In theory, that has worked. Okay. It'll be interesting to see what happens with that IDE directory when I move back here. So, all right. So, go down, there's this index and all that just now. Mm, didn't throw any errors. Right, it has, like I said, um, that's my gig nor has decided not to do anything with that, which is good, I guess. Um, okay. We have... Let's have a look at the JSON here. Right, well, that's not what I expected. Output file name. 
that's different to what I wanted, I think. Um, double check. So this README. Okay, that's just this felt README. Oh, actually, no, it's not. Let's look at so main. Okay, so the issue I have here is simply that so far the title and project name and stuff are not quite what I expected. So I probably even want to redo it as the quickest solution. Um, Yeah. I mean, I could just do a search and replace, I guess. But it'd be nice to see it just do its thing. So I really should have just given it a title as the project name and such. Right, so it's doing all that. Okay, everything looks good. It's just I, I just used the wrong thing for the name. It's all good basic stuff here, this is fine. Yeah, some, some basics there. All these things are going to be changed in the end anyway. Um, well, CSS and so on eventually will have to be replaced. Um, it's a beat, okay. This is all new to me, I've not used V before. I just used roll up. Okay. Public. Okay. And then the build stuff. All right. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to do it once more. Just for fun. So we'll delete GUI. And this time, we'll give it the name. Snippy Pixie, that's it. Um, it's still going to create and want to create a GUI. Binary file name. So I'll probably have to go fix that up, probably in the GoLand stuff as well, although that's probably not even in use. But we'll go a go. Make sure that's refreshed properly. So in here, yep, snippy big C, okay. Output GUI, let's see how many instances of GUI we've got here. Just that, okay. That's interesting. I 
expected something to pop up in there. Right, uh, yeah. See, that's not what I want. I don't want GUI as the binary name. Okay. There's a quick fix for this. Delete it. Do it again. And we call it snippet pixie snippet pixie GUI. Okay, and then we rename it to GUI because I don't want, I just want to keep the same format on the top level there. Okay, there we go, and then back in Goland. Give it a refresh. And now, yeah, so now the output file name in theory is going to be snippet pixie GUI and the name snippet pixie. I might, um, I might see if there's a um, possibility of adding a different option there to the init so you can say, what the binary file name is. Because at the moment, having it the same as the directory isn't quite right, well, at least for me. So, yeah, I might propose that. But anyway, it's not super hard to change. Um, so, let's see, right, let's clear out some of this stuff. Don't need any of this now because we're in a different project as such. Um, now we've got to find a way. Of playing with this. So at the moment. We have a project within a project. And I'm not sure. How that's going to go. It's not picked it up here. Okay. But anyway, what we'll do is we'll see if we can actually run it. Um, How shall we do this? Should we do it on a new terminal and just play with it there? OK. 
just do it here. Let's just see, see if it runs. So we'll do a Wales build. first compilation always takes a little bit of time because it's actually downloading a bunch of dependencies and stuff. So that was 17 seconds. That's not bad. All right. Um, so in theory, we now have something in build. We have a bin. We have a Darwin and a Windows. But I want in the bin, there is a snippet pixie GUI. Perfect. So Let's just run that. See how that goes. There we go. So this is the demo. This is the basics. So I can just go. Um, it's called. So you can see the title is up and it's right up top. Oops. There we go. Um, it says Snippy Pixie. Um, and if I just run always developing, I hit greet. Hello, always developing. It's showtime. <laughs> it is. That's cool. Okay. Right. Um, so we have a GUI um, and we can move it around and do all the stuff. Um, and then, of course, for me, because uh, I'm using i3, I can uh, stick it into there <laughs> and take it back out. Um, well, enough actually. If I, I'm surprised I had that there. Let's move it over there. Let's do it this way. So I'll switch it into over there. That's fine. Okay. And it'll probably, the logo will probably go a bit nuts when I do a full screen here. But it does work. That's cool. Okay. Neat. So we have a skeleton of a GUI. Uh, I think that is worth... Um, saving off before we do anything else. In fact, let's just tag what we had beforehand. Just so that we've got something to go back to in case we decide to do a different setup for the GUI. Um, Okay, is that it? Hmm, before we do that. Okay, that's good. So it's not going to add the bin there. It's not going to add IDE. I think that's okay. I think what I'm going to have to do is pick out the bits from here that are useful um, and add them manually to the project because it's, it's a sub project. Because it would be handy to have that set up so that I can debug. So, yeah, that's okay at the moment, and I'll retrofit that and do a debug setup in a minute. 
Um, so, okay, so it's generated stuff for Windows and Darwin. Don't know if I'm ever going to use them. I could take them out. But they also don't do any harm by being there. That I know of. Hmm, interesting. I'll leave them there for the moment. So, front end. What have we got here? Node modules are not going to be added. Good. Assets probably should and would. Of course, the source is all going to be added. And of course, the runtime stuff. And the config. And scripts. Install whale CLI. Well, this isn't going to run for me because it's using a hard-coded bin bash. So, but I don't, also I don't need it anyway, but I will keep it around. Um, that's interesting though, I might need to... Uh, so these are just sort of little utility scripts. Wales build clean. Yeah, I do that all the time. I'll be adding these to... Um, a make file though, so. Okay, I think everything there is safe. Some of the ignore directories are not excluded from indexing and search. Okay. Bin. Index and search. Yep, I think that's okay. I can exclude them. Uh, okay. And then we are excluding ID, VS Code, no modules, Windows stuff, include an attempt. And then build bin. That's fine. And let's look at the Wells project again. So snip of XMPM install and peer run build. PM run build watch. Okay. Uh, packages. Feet build, feet build watch, feet preview. Okay. Three, four, four. Okay, what's that? Okay, that's all right. We'll be all right there, I think. 
we'll soon find out. Um, okay, I think that's all okay to check in for the moment. as a skeleton app. There's nothing jumping out as being need an immediate change before we actually start doing something with it. Okay, let's just double check what we've got here. I suspect some of this I might remove later, some of this Windows stuff. But I just don't want to rock the boat at the moment. Okay. <laughs> right, add skeleton. Gooey. Now, so we have a skeleton GUI app, but it's not in, um, it hasn't got a make file. Well, it doesn't use that at the moment, it uses V2 and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to generate a little make file. Uh, so at the moment, top level, we have all this stuff. Um, Yes, so we need a command snippet pixie GUI. Okay, what do we? Yeah, we can do that. Um, so the directories. Let's just check. So we're going to them, we're doing blah, get the target dials. And then we do a make on them, so that's all going to work, hopefully. And then we just need to do the other bits and bumps. Okay. Right, or in that case, we will take that and we will add GUI. And then in the commands, I think I'll just steal this make file. And we'll stick it in here. Yes, please. So the object we want is GUI um, and we're going to have to manipulate things a little bit to get that actually no we will keep it so it's going to be in build bin and we'll update the other make file.
Should be good to do that. Besides, well, that was the wrong path there. <laughs> Gooey. Build. Bin. It's a good job I went back there. Command, Gooey. Build, Bin, Snippet, Pixie, Gooey. That's where we're going to find it once it's built. Build, Bin. And then in here... Well, this test stuff isn't going to work because we haven't got any tests yet. But I pro probably won't harm. Right. Just double check what's going on here. So we're going to have to. We're going to have to add in some more stuff for the front end source here. But we can do that in a bit. Um, so we've got the basics there. But we're not going to be using go build. We're going to use to get that object, the snippet pixie GUI. We're just going to use Wales build. Uh, test we can leave, it's not going to do anything though yet until we add some tests. Test for both the same. Clean. Now, we need to be careful here. I think that's okay. It won't remove all the lead and stuff because we have more than just we have all the assets for Darwin and Windows as well. Although I think they will get regenerated if needed. It's just this binary here to be cleaned out, which is fine. That's ID stuff. Can't see it because of the coloring. Um, Clean all, tidy. Now here, well, we'll see. I think that's okay. I think that's safe, but I don't know for sure. We'll find out and then run. It's just going to run the object. OK, so. Cool. So the thing that we're going to have to add is. Um, for the object, we have front end stuff. And we have all kinds of front end stuff. Um, the important. stuff to monitor. Is anything felt? 
CSS or JS. The TS, don't know because I'm not going to be using TypeScript. But I don't know whether that gets updated. Possibly does. Because we've got the runtime stuff which looks to be generated. It's like an interface there, so. No, oh, it isn't, it says it interface, okay. Hmm. So I might have to add that. So let's do that. Let's do. Uh, we'll just call it JS. So where are we expecting to see anything like this then? Do we have any in here? Mm, yes, maybe. Of course, we've got JSON as well. Okay, let's say... Hmm. I wonder if I can Yeah, I don't want to get too fancy, I think. Let's do let's do this we'll do this simple way then. Um We'll do front end JS I could for each down into our gas. Do this. Quick and simple. How many deep do we need to go? So in the GUI, we have front end. Right, dist we don't care about and we don't want to index on actually. I have to be careful about that. Um, don't really want to do anything there. Kind of want it to all be source after that. And maybe Wales JS. It's only really when these change that I'm going to be really interested. Um, and this, maybe, in theory, I guess that comes along for the ride. Based on go changes. So let's just do us let's just do front end and then front end source and then we'll add other stuff as we need to. So we'll do front end and we'll just be very specific here for the moment. Oops. And we can always expand this later. Um 
So we're going to do that. And then I'm going to be very careful here. And do that as well. I just need to double check. It's heard a noise. One second. Okay, I'm back. Uh, couldn't see anything going on there. Right, so we did do JSON um, and we'll do TS as well. Just in case. Have we got any? Yeah, we have. Oh, and I want CS, CSS as well. Public source assets. They're not really going to change too much. CSS, main, blah. And then the Wells JS will hopefully come back to another day. JSON, JS. Oh, HTML, of course. Probably should just do a automated thing here, but as in like four H down, but hey, I haven't really got the time for that today. I need to be going. Um, okay, so these are all dependencies for this. So we're going to add HTML source, CSS, JS, oops, JSON, and just for the fun of it, type script as well. Okay. We can leave that. Um, and then I don't think Wales build does a go format first. Don't know for sure. Um, okay. Let's see if that complains. So Wales build will hopefully run. So in here, we now have a make file. And if I do make, nothing to be done. If I do make clean, in theory it's clean that off. And if I do make again now, it has a build. And if I do a make run, we get whales. Smart. Okay, that's good. Um, ding. Okay. Good.
good stuff. So then that means, in theory, I'll just go back up here. And I do make clean all. And then we do make. We get the build. So it's done that. Snippet Pixie in the CLI. Snippet Pixie D in the daemon directory. And then in the GUI directory. It ends up doing Wells build. And we're good. Smart. Okay. Well, that's enough for today. I've got to get on with my week. Uh, work week. Um, so we'll just save that off. And make file. Oop. Okay. No idea what this is going to do to the CI. But we will see. Okay. Good stuff. All right, so we've got the basics. We have a GUI. It doesn't do anything that we want to do yet because we haven't done anything to it to make it do it what do what we want to do. Um, but it's a start. Um, so next time, we'll start working out what we actually want to put in the GUI um, and basically rip out the demo code and start putting in some exploratory um, real code in theory we'll see anyway thanks for watching um and until next time take care